Yo, 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 what's happening? It's your man, OG Bo Beast TV. Come to you today, no special video. What's good? What's happening, y'all? All right, so today, I'm going to do a quick, quick review of what's coming up this week because it's a lot of dope sneakers coming up this week. And I know you're trying to get one, if not all, depending on how your budget looking for the week. So there's some very dope sneakers coming up. And uh, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to get. Um, if I can even get any of them. All right, so we're going to talk about it. We're going to break it down. Hope everybody having a good day. Uh, this Monday, November 4th, the day before the election. A lot of crazy stuff going on. I'm so ready for this election to be over with. Regardless of who win, I'm going to keep running up my bag. That's what I want y'all to remember. Regardless of who win, it's always up to the individual to run up the bag, y'all. And I'm going to leave it like that. I ain't going to talk about um, politics or nothing, y'all. Today, I'm going to review some dope sneakers. You can already see what I got on the screen. Before I do that, I want to make sure if y'all haven't already checked out my review of the A Mama Near Air Max 95 while you were sleeping. Uh, very dope shoe. I did a review and I want y'all to check them out, y'all. This is a very clean shoe. I don't like how the camera look on there. I know it look a little funny on there. Um, it's a very clean shoe. The materials is dope. Details is crazy. So make sure y'all check this joint out. If y'all don't do nothing else, y'all check this out. Um, very, very dope shoe if you like Air Max 95. All right, so let's jump right into it, y'all. Coming up this week on the sneakers, we got a couple of big releases. Number one is the Wu-Tang Dunks, y'all. The Wu-Tang Dunks. So first of all, I'm a big Wu-Tang fan. Um, you know, I, I rock with the 90s rap. That's my favorite era of rap. Nas, Biggie, J, Tupac, uh, early 90s, NWA, Outkast. Like, that's my era of hip-hop. And Wu-Tang Clan is one of my favorite groups of all time, for sure. Uh, so, yo, these shoes right here, the only problem is they're going to be very hard to get. So let's take a little closer look. They dropped November 9th, this Saturday. Um, and I'm going to try to figure out how I can get them, y'all. Dunks, black and yellow dunks. Obviously, the, the Killer B colorway. You got the Wu-Tang logo on these, so you know they're official. Um, and yeah, this is just a dope shoe. They retail for $150, y'all. $150, they dropping this Saturday. And uh, good luck with that, yo. You got an all-yellow outsole or whatever color they call in that gold, university gold. Um, you got black behind the Nike swoosh, black on top of the toe box. Look like the leather is pretty good on these. They're really just a pair of yellow and black dunks with the Wu-Tang logo, but that's what makes them so special, y'all. So these Wu-Tang dunks, very dope. If you're a big fan of these, I know you're going for these for the nostalgia. A lot of sneaker heads is going to come out of the woodworks for these. A lot of people that don't buy shoes nowadays because it's a lot of trash, garbage, GR shoes coming out. But these is very special. You're going to get a lot, a lot of New Yorkers, a lot of... Just everybody gonna go for these shoes. So they probably gonna be very hard to get. That's my my guess on these, but uh we'll see, y'all. We'll see. All right, so also um another dope shoe, which I think should be easier to get. Uh, a lot of people gonna sleep on these. Uh first of all, y'all know I love brown leather. That's why I, one of the reasons I got these uh Air Max 95 A Mama Nears. Just the leather on these, the brown, everything. Y'all, y'all know how I feel about these, right? All right, so um jordan nines not my favorite silhouette but this colorway is just dope this is the main colorway i want other than the charcoal gray which i got an old pair of those oh matter of fact they're right here i didn't even plan this so you see these joints right here i've had these since i think 2012 13 what is he said made in 2010 i had these for a minute yo but they kind of beat up because i wore them but a new pair of these is going to cost you on stock x so uh other than that those unc air jordan 9s everybody forgot about those i was gonna pull them out but i'm not gonna dig through my shoes everybody forgot about those unc jordan 9s but a lot of people got them they didn't sell out though um i've heard people say these not gonna sell out i think a lot of people won't go for these i think it's gonna be a lot more pairs of these so um yeah let's let's see what's going on so these gonna retail for 210 and that price point kind of hot but that's the price nowadays but black shoe uh on the bottom also you see you got the red jump man you got that brown leather i think that brown suede leather should be very dope this is like a boot shoe this is like the dopest boot jordan shoe perfect timing for the fall winter i gots to have them 
So I'm really thinking that it's going to be hard to get the Wu-Tang dunk. So I'll probably go for both on the raffle. But then again, I probably can get these at a couple other places for a discount price. So we'll see. I still may have to secure a pair via um, finish line. I haven't got finish line exclusive access in a while, but I haven't been looking for it either. So maybe these will, will come up on um, finish line exclusive access. I could grab a pair because I'm going to be in Orlando this Saturday, which is where I get my pairs at. So we'll see. Either either way, I, I think I'm going to have to grab them, y'all. So we'll see. All right, so let's keep it going. Le leave a comment down below. Let me know how you feel about these. Um, and would you are you grabbing them? What you plan on grabbing uh, this weekend between those two? All right, make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Let's see what else is going on. So these full-size run. Ah, okay. So... You kind of got, no, you don't got full size run. So now you got the women's Air Jordan 11. Look at these, y'all. Air Jordan 11, bread velvet. Now, I love me some Air Jordan 11. If these was in men's, I would probably go crazy. A lot of people don't like this velvet and all that stuff. I love those materials. I think it's a dope shoe to have. Just like those uh, suede Jordan 1, um, royal blue whatever they was called the reimagined ones that was suede and, and the original pair was genuine leather a lot of people had a lot to say about the reimagined pair it is what it is this shoe comes in women's sizes though so don't get too excited it only goes up to a ten and a half so unless you uh, got small feet these ain't for you anyway i think it's a dope shoe i'm gonna love to see these in hand at the store because they probably will be sitting but um there you have it. If you like it, I love it. These is what what's the retail for these? 230. Woo! Yeah, these is not gonna sell out, y'all. Maybe the 10 and a halves will. Maybe the 10 and a halves, but then again, you know, Jordan 11s always sell out eventually. So we'll see. All right, let me know how you feel about those. Leave a comment down below. Now, what else we got? Last but not least, that I'm gonna talk about is Air Jordan. You see these? Nope, nope, nope. I'll pass. Air Jordan 4. Look at these, y'all. Fear. I almost forgot the name. Air Jordan 4 Fear. Now, Air Jordan 4s, dopest shoe around. Always generally sell out. This year, a lot of Air Jordan 4s ain't sell out. Like the, the oxidized green didn't sell out. Uh, those wet cement sold out, but I think they was kind of limited on pairs. I don't know how limited these going to be, y'all. I think these will sit, but they'll eventually sell out. I could be wrong. Um, the Air Jordan 3 Fear, I got them earlier this year. Wasn't that earlier this year? Hadn't even opened, looked at them in months since I got them. So these right here, again, if for some reason I can't get the Wu-Tang Dunks and I can't get the Jordan 9s and I can catch these for a good price, I, I would definitely get them. I rock with them. But I'm not planning on getting these. These come out November 16th and for a retail price of $215, y'all. So this is a lot of money to be spent um, this time of year. You got Thanksgiving coming up. You got the holidays. Me personally, I got birthdays coming up. And then December 14th, if I'm not mistaken, is that the right date? Could be off of my dates. Those Air Jordan 11 Columbias come out. Absolute must have. I really would like to go... In the worst case scenario, Jordan 9 and then Air Jordan 11 Columbia. Best case scenario, Wu-Tang Dunks. I get the Jordan 9s for a discounted price and I get the Jordan 11 Columbias. Also possibly for a discounted price. Y'all know I'll be rocking with the, the Navy Exchange and it's online and it's instant. And a lot of people sleep on it. But lately a lot of stuff been selling out because I think people finding out that you can get them on there. For a discounted price now everybody don't have access to that it is what it is but that's my that's my plan y'all for the rest of the year it's always some shoes that come out in december that's kind of like that catch me at the end of the year i'm known for for just buying crazy random shoes at the end of the year but i'm gonna try to keep it cool this year because i got a lot of things going on and my 2025 finna be a good year financially but that's just talk for right now anyway y'all be on the lookout for my top 10 of the year i'm um, figure out what it is i got a lot of shoes this year y'all i got asics i got new balance i got dunks obviously plenty of jays 
Um, a lot of Air Jordan 4s I got this year. I had the Air Jordan 4 Bread Reimagined, Oxidized Green. I got the um, Military Blue. I got the, uh, man, just so many Air Jordan 4s I got this year, y'all. So we'll see what's going on with that. That's why I say I don't know if I need this shoe for my collection, but y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. Comment down below, leave a message. Holla at your boy, man. It's your man, OG Bo Beats, and I'm out for right now. Peace.